Belarus. It looks like Belarus is not in the business of keeping itself open to the West anymore. That's the big story here. This is from France 24. Their headline says Belarus to close borders with Poland and Lithuania. They put troops on alert. So I'll give you a little bit of an <coughs> overview here. Uh, basically, there was an election over what is sometimes called the last dictator in Europe, uh, Belarus. Uh, Belarus president here, Alexander Lukashenko. Lukashenko, he's a bit of a bit of a thorn in the side of Putin, but he's not totally unfriendly to Putin. But he's been kind of dancing with China, so it's a uh, there's a lot of stuff going on there but after this uh, election his sixth term a lot of folks are like yo man you didn't win this and then there was uh, a lot of protest <clears throat> somebody died and this guy said oh man he died because uh bomb he was throwing a bomb and bomb his own bomb bomb up and they had unfortunately for him they had video and it wasn't the case so so there's a lot of pressure going on. So what has happened is my boy Lukashenko has said, yo, West, no. So they are closing borders with Poland and Lithuania, and they're putting troops on alert. Now, I'm just going to be honest with you here. I don't really believe that Belarus's president believes that Poland and Lithuania are necessarily a threat to him. And this is, this is really all about him being able to have even the flimsiest, flimsiest of excuses to galvanize his, his militaries, get them out there, in in the front and on display and rah rah big gun big gun sis boom ba I think it's uh it's more like that and that's probably why he's declaring these alerts. I don't really believe that there's a danger here of Poland and Lithuania going to war with Belarus. I think this is he's doing a little also also this is a little grandstanding because what he's saying is oh no no the people love me man there's just people from the west that are <clears throat> no, to be sure there probably are. By the way just just want to point something out to everyone every nation state that has the capacity to interfere with any other nation state that it deems in its best interest to do so will do so any nation state that sees a nation state that has some sort of unrest or whatever and has a an interest to see that nation state suffer further unrest will endeavor to contribute to the protest china certainly has contributed to u.s protests and and I'm sure the West has contributed to Belarus protests and the U.S. has contributed to China protests and <clears throat> that's the way of the nation state. And I'm sure, what is a prize? I'm sure there's some truth to what he has to say. <clears throat> how much truth? I don't know. How much of this is from the people? I don't know. Uh, my, my, my guess is uh, the, the opposition. My read is that the opposition himself is not necessarily from this doesn't have as strong a coalition behind him and i think there were some local elections recently even that this opposition leaders party didn't do so well and i <clears throat> i think that's kind of what i think it's and ultimately lukashenko finds himself in a position where it's because of russia mother russia that uh if i understand it it's uh uh, the possible opposition to Lukashenko is largely <coughs> Russian identity, folks. And uh, yeah, I think that what has happened here is Putin has said, listen, I'm going to put the word out to the dogs and I'll tell you what now. You own me because your power comes from my approval. I think that's what's going on here, and I'll just give you a brief little France 24 version here. We are forced to withdraw troops from the streets, put the army on high alert, and close the state border on the west, primarily with Lithuania and Poland, Lukashenko said. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. At a women's forum. So he said this at a women's forum. How fitting. How fitting. I'm just going to make that real big. There, back on, where are you? Where are you? There you go. Women's Forum. Women's Forum. Oh, I don't have you. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make you smaller. I'm gonna make you smaller. Don't. I don't want that. 
There we go. Women's Forum. You can see it there. It's worth it. <laughs> Women's Forum. Lukashenko. Women's Forum. Lukashenko also said Belarus is with border with Ukraine would be strengthened. I don't want my country to be at war. Moreover, I don't want Belarus and Poland, Lithuania to turn into a theater of military operations where our niche issues will not be resolved. He said, therefore, today in front of this hall of the most beautiful, advanced, patriotic people, I want to appeal to the peoples of Lithuania, Poland, and Ukraine. Stop your crazy politicians. Don't let war break out. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. He did not mention neighboring Latvia, which, like Poland and Lithuania, is a NATO member. <clears throat> and there you go. That's it. Just gonna leave it at that. I'll leave you guys to mull over it. Just a little bit of a. Ah. Just another one of these. 2020, folks. Uh, Belarus is uh, militarizing its borders against Poland and Lithuania. Just 2020. <laughs>